nutrition in human beings. All the processes involved in nutrition in human beings takes place by association of digestive organs. These digestive organs together form a system called the digestive system. The digestive system includes alimentary canal and the digestive glands. Alimentary canal. Alimentary canal is long and muscular tube of varying diameter which extends from the mouth to anus. It is associated with digestive glands like salivary glands, liver, the pancreas and the gastric glands. Mouth The alimentary canal begins with the mouth. We eat a variety of food items which have to pass through the same digestive tract. Naturally, the food has to be processed to generate particles with small size. Can you tell which organs of the body are involved in breaking the large food particles into smaller ones? The teeth are used to chew food into smaller particles that make the process of digestion easier later on and a tongue which helps move foods around in your mouth. Such crushed food is wetted with saliva secreted by the salivary glands so that the food can smoothly pass through the soft lining of the alimentary canal. The food that we take is of complex nature. It is converted into simpler molecules with the help of biological catalysis called as enzymes. Enzyme salivary amylase breaks down starch into a simple sugar maltose. Thus, digestion starts in the mouth itself. Let's perform an activity to show that salivary amylase breaks down starch into a simple sugar. Stomach. The partly digested food is pushed forward in the canal due to rhythmic contraction and relaxation of the muscles of the canal called as peristaltic movement. This food goes down through the esophagus into a J-shaped stomach placed on the left side of the abdomen. The gastric glands present in the wall of the stomach release three gastric juices, namely hydrochloric acid, enzyme pepsin and mucus. Hydrochloric acid creates acidic conditions which are necessary for the action of the enzyme pepsin which digests proteins. Mucus protects the inner lining of the stomach from the action of acids under normal conditions. The muscular walls of the stomach churn the food and help in proper mixing of the food with gastric juices. The exit of the food from the stomach is regulated by the sphincter muscle which release small amount of partly digested food into the small intestine. Small intestine The small intestine is the longest part about 5 to 6 meters of the alimentary canal fitted into a compact space in the belly by extensive coiling. Although it is much longer than the large intestine, it gets its name from its comparatively smaller diameter. The length of small intestine differs in various animals depending on the food they eat. Carbohydrates, proteins and fats are fully digested in the small intestine. Since this action takes place only in alkaline conditions, the acidic food received from the stomach has to be first made alkaline. Liver is the largest gland in the body which secretes bile juice and is stored in the gallbladder. Wherever 
food enters the small intestine, the gall bladder releases bile into it through a duct. Bile makes the food alkaline and breaks the large fat globules into smaller ones. This increases the enzyme action. Pancreas Pancreas secrete pancreatic juice. It has digestive enzymes like trypsin, which digests proteins, lipase, which break down fats, and pancreatic amylase, which digest carbohydrates. Thus, bile and the pancreatic juice enter the small intestine through a common duct. Intestinal juices, various intestinal juices are also secreted by walls of the small intestine to complete the digestion process of converting proteins to amino acids, complex carbohydrates to glucose and fats into fatty acids. Digestion in small intestine. The digested food is absorbed by the walls of the small intestine having numerous finger-like projections called villi. Villi are richly supplied with blood vessels which absorb the food. The absorbed food is taken to each and every cell of the body where it is utilized for obtaining energy. Unused glucose is stored in the liver in the form of glycogen. The unabsorbed food is sent to the large intestine. Large intestine The undigested food and the digested food pass into the large intestine. The large intestine is about 1.5 meters long. This part of the intestine does not have any digestive function as the digestion is already completed. The walls of the large intestine have villi which absorb most of the water and salts. The rest of the material is removed from the body through the anus which is regulated by the muscle called sphincter.